we're going to get stuck into the title race now. Um, we've heard a lot there. Dean Ashton, Scott Minto said it there. There's three teams that can win the title this year. Of course, he means Arsenal, he means Manchester City and the ones leading the lot are Liverpool at the moment, Dan. But I'm going to throw Chelsea in there. I think this is a four-horse race this season. I think they've really impressed me. What well, With Chelsea, they've always been, the last couple of seasons, fantastic players, but playing individually. Now they seem to be uh, playing as a team. And when you've got Cole Palmer, arguably the best player in the Premier League on form today... I think they have a chance. Huge game next up for them away at Anfield. I'd agree with most Why of that. Why are you pausing? Because I don't <laughs> think they've got enough to win the league. Really? I don't think they've got enough to overcome. They've got enough depth. They've got about 50 players. <clears throat> They'll lose too many games. Yeah. They will have too many sporadic performances. You can generally lose three or four games if you're going to win the Premier League. They've only lost one. Only eight in. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem isn't it yeah. so uh, I think I can see Chelsea having some fantastic performances I can see them having a losing a silly game here and there yep. that, that cost them that's why I think they've got a great chance of top four I don't think they've got enough to overcome Liverpool City and Arsenal mm. they might overcome one of them they might even get third but to Eclipse all three of them, I, I, I think it's too much of an ask. Well, well, let's talk about Liverpool for a little bit. We, we obviously spoke that it's normally a two-horse race and kind of everyone would have predicted, again, Manchester City, but Arsenal, the Arsenal um, as the two-horse race. But Liverpool lead the way, 18 points, one point ahead of them. But a lot of question marks over their fixtures. Ipswich, Brentford, a poor Manchester United <clears throat> team. Nottingham they've, they've, Forest, they've, they've, who they lost to, by the way. Bournemouth. They've had a favourable start. Um, but they've still won those games. Yep. You know, you've, you've still got to win those games, you know, first and foremost. So, you know, at, they can only do what they're doing at the moment. Again, can they overtake Arsenal and City? I, I think it'd be very, very difficult. What's going to become the concern in two months' time? Trent, Van Dyke, Mo Salah, yep. all out of contract. They can talk to foreign clubs. Their agents will be talking to Premier League clubs. Mm whether they're supposed to or not, we both know that's going to happen. Yep. At that point, if they're not going to stay at Liverpool and they're not going to sign, do their heads turn slightly? Do performances start to dip a little bit? We saw what happened after Jurgen Klopp announced that his retirement struggled. Mm. We saw it back in the day when Fergie did that as well. It's tough, you know, to be able to do that. And, and all of a sudden, those three key players might be thinking, my future's elsewhere. Yeah. I want to be fit for when I go to the next one am I going to push myself in training every single day am I going to push myself in games I don't know the answer to that I don't, don't know them personally but that would be my worry mm. I'm, I want to talk about Arsenal Man City in a second but because you've mentioned him now Trent Alexander-Arnold out of contract at the end of the season I see a tweet today from the Premier League on X and it said at 26 of course his birthday is he the best right back in Premier League history? And it had a very mixed that reaction person, in the that comments. That person wants sacking. Honestly, very mixed reaction in the comments. All the Liverpool supporters best said yes. Best right back <laughs> ever. And everyone else said no. Is there any shout that yes, he is? No. Ever. No chance. Not top five. No. Not top five. No, not ever. Would you put him... Well, arguably, you've got Lauren, you've got... Um, Lee Dixon back in the day Kyle Walker Kyle, arguably he's not better than Kyle Walker Reese James when he's fit doesn't ever get fit Ivanovic Zabaleta Gary Neville hate to say Gary that Gary Neville's number one for me well, he's that's... number one for me <laughs> you know Lee Dixon's in there as well I yeah. mean there are so Dennis many Dennis Irwin there are so many fabulous Paolo Ferreira at Chelsea do you think that was an early birthday present from the Premier League tweeting that I don't know <laughs> I, I think that's just to generate Likes, tweets, comment, can he whatever become it might be. the best in Premier League history? Has he got the potential to become that? I might be old school, but I'm looking at defenders as defenders. Mm. Pa Pablo Zabletta, mm. he's got to be in that conversation. Yes. You know, Liverpool fans, Steve Finnan, Glenn Steve Johnson. Finnan. You know, great players yeah. in their own right. We're, we're very, very good. You know, we're fabulous right backs, yep. you know, in their time. Luke Aylin. Luke but throw Aylin. him in there. Stephen Carr. <laughs> yeah. 
Danny, oh, Danny Mills, by the way. Danny Mills. Now just being silly. Um, <laughs> but there's been lots. Yeah. You know, down the ages, there's been some seriously. There's a very recency bias. Well, without and like I said, it's. I think it's there just to spike a little bit of interest yeah. and and to get people talking about something during an international week when the Premier League has, has shut down and it's his birthday. Yeah, like you said, but no. If you talk best ever in the Premier League, is nowhere near it. No, no. Look, I I agree. Could he become it? Perhaps. I'd love to hear off Liverpool it, it, supporters. Have to, he'd have to win two or three more Premier Leagues, I think. You know, to be yeah. in that. And prove that he's actually a better defender. Is it about winning stuff though? It's a mix for me. You, you've got to have a bit of everything. If, yeah. if you're the out and out best, so when you when you talk about, and we'll have this maybe about world class and people like that. So somebody that other people uh, can't do. Matt yeah. Letizia mm. was possibly world class in a very poor team. Mm. You know th- what he could do was off the charts now people say well Trent's delivery is fantastic mm. but I've seen Trippier do that I've seen Luke Shaw deliver balls from the other side similar you know so that other players can do that mm. you know the way that Liverpool plays suits him um, you know that is for sure so <clears throat> yeah he's a great passer of the ball but I'm not sure that makes him the best Premier League right back ever no no, I'd love you, to you've hear got to have, um... you've got to have more to your game than just a delivery. Yeah, you've got to be able to do it all, especially your defensive responsibilities. And I think your first and, and, and foremost... And that, and that would be the one. First so, and foremost, to be a defender, you have to defend your I, goal. I accept he's created an awful lot of goals. Yeah. But how many has he been responsible for at the other end? Yeah. Liverpool supporters, 03717 Not just Liverpool supporters. That tweet, did anyone see that tweet? Did anyone comment on that tweet from the Premier League saying Trent Alexander, is he the best in Premier League history? Uh, let's have a quick look at Manchester City and Arsenal. Now, I'm putting those two in the same bracket, Dan, because what is it? It was four points a couple of years ago, two points last season. They've got closer. Can they go one better, Arsenal? Can they go toe to toe? And can they get the job done this season? It's going to be tough. Very, very tough. And, and again, it's, it's about mentality. Arteta has probably, he's been around a lot of football clubs as a player. Obviously, he's been around Manchester City and especially under Pep and seen that intensity at close hands. You know, to go second, to go second again, to then go on and win it, Mm. that's a really hard thing to do. Yeah. yeah. You know, especially when City are as good as they are. Yeah. Can they get over the line? Mm. Now, they always talk about the foot, you know, the the first one, you know, breaking that duck, you know, is the hardest thing to do when it comes down to at the very, very end. Does the pressure get to you? Mm. That'll be the deciding factor. We've seen City do it many times. You know, Aston Villa, they beat them. Before that, Vincent Company smashed one in against Leicester with his right peg. Mm. They just, the best teams find a way in those last few games when it's not about how well you play, it's about winning. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.